<laughs> Welcome to the chat. I'm Sarah. And I'm Eric. And I'm Big Steve. Congratulations to the wrestling team for a 54 over 16 win against Brookstone and a 57 over 16 win over Pacelli on Tuesday. The team ends dual season with an overall record of 10 over 5. Boys that made the soccer team will need to report to room 306 during homeroom for a team meeting. Artillery. A R T I L L E R Y. That's correct. Congratulations to Janiah Johnson for winning the middle school spelling bee this morning. She won by spelling the word artillery correctly. Good job, Janiah. Be sure to support our school fundraiser. The $5 raffle tickets are for a chance to win a laptop, an athletic spirit pack, and $100. Get out and sell at least 10 tickets so you can be in a drawing to win wireless beats. <laughs> Every 10 tickets you sell will put your name in the drawing for multiple opportunities to win. Whoever sells the most will get an iPad mini. And the homeroom that sells the most will get to go to Stars and Strikes for a free bowling and arcade game. Chaco's second annual volleyball tournament is soon. There is an interest meeting on Wednesday, January 25th in homeroom. Spots are first come, first serve. It all starts with the middle school all-star all -star match. Plan to meet in homeroom on Wednesday. Yeah, the Bait Club will meet in room 303 after school today. Senior ads are still on sale. Seniors have until January 31st to purchase an ad. There are some scholarships available for you through the counseling department. All you have to do is go to Chatco webpage, click on Guidance Counselor page, and click on Current Scholarships. If you have any questions, go see Ms. Cook. That's the chat for today. We leave you with Chaco's appearance on RBL, RBL last night. In less than 48 hours, President-elect Donald Trump will be sworn in as the 45th President of the United States. And a group of students from Chattahoochee County will be there to watch. New at 6, News 3's Joe Ripley met with a group that's preparing for the trip of a lifetime. And I can't wait to get back and just live in the history again. It's homecoming for Kaylin Jean Clemens. There's so much to absorb and soak up. She and 12 of her classmates at Chattahoochee County High School are headed to Washington, D.C. for the presidential inauguration. My parents have never been, and my dad's been in the Army for 25 years. So it's just something that I was really excited to go see, no matter who was going to get it. I really didn't care who won, who lost, who it was going to be. I just wanted to go. Jared McKean says he'll take away more than just memories from this trip. It'll just widen my scope of what everything really means and like how important all the stuff we learn here really is. Chattahoochee County High School has a long tradition of earning trophies for their hard work and excellence, but few people can claim their latest distinction. Assistant Principal Bo Oates says it's refreshing that young students are taking a keen interest in politics. I've been to Final Fours, I've been to Iron Bowl, I've been to the Georgia Auburn game. I've been to, this is the biggest event I've ever been to. So for their young lives, it, it, it's, a, it's a blessing. The president is the number one head honcho, so I mean it's always just great to see, especially with a candidate who nobody really saw as a political face to become the president is just means anybody can do anything. I can't wait to be a piece of history because that's what you're going to be when you get there is you're always going to be able to say I was part of the 2017 inaugurational crowd and I got to see Donald Trump be inaugurated. And for these students nothing quite trumps that. On your side in Chattahoochee County, Joe Ripley, WRBL News 3. The 13 students and two faculty members will fly to D.C. tomorrow ahead of Friday's inauguration. The group will also tour historic sites around the nation's capital before returning on Saturday.